What's up guys? Sitting down here today to do a good old-fashioned haul. So I bought some things in the Sydney Gray's Christmas in July sale and after I made my video talking about the new things they were launching in that sale, I guess a little over a week ago at this point, dang their shipping is super fast, but my stuff just a few days ago came in. Haven't had a chance to use it, but I have unwrapped it, so I thought I would just sit here today, show you what I got, swatch it, and maybe even use some of it. So let's jump into it. So first I want to talk about the things that you probably know I have purchased. If you watched any of my videos about Sydney Grace, you know I'm picking up some more of the cream shadow formulas because it is so, so good and so affordable for the amount of product that you get. So I guess I was on a purple kick when I was on the website because I got two neutrals. One is Vibrant Madness. This looks like a high shine metallic taupe. I really should compare this to the other, some of the other shades that I have in this formula because this looks very similar to, I think it's called Cliff Jumping, which is another taupe shade. This looks like it's a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit less deep, but very high shine and shimmery, but still on the cool side, especially compared to the other uh, neutral that I got, which is called Worth the Weight. And this looks like it is more of a warm, oh, warm, beautiful, warm, like gilded golden shade. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous and definitely warmer by comparison. It actually is kind of a close, it looks like it's a close match to my skin tone, at least in my viewfinder here, but it's very warm on camera. Kind of a combo yellow gold slash bronzy shade. So, so pretty. And then I got two purple shades because they just look so good on the website. First is a lighter one. It's called I Need a Vacation and it's kind of, ooh, this is a watery or a little bit more of a thinner formula. Um, and so this looked like it could be kind of multi-chromatic on the website. Looks like a pretty straight tone metallic lavender there, but it could also just be the lighting, maybe a hint of gold, or maybe I just combined it with the shade right next to it. And then the other shade I have, I'm out of hand space, is a deeper like royal looking purple called Awakening. So let's go ahead and put this on the other hand. I am a mess. So here, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. You can see by comparison, the lighter purple versus the deep, rich purple. All of these shades are gorgeous. So, so happy with that. Um, I might, I think I'm gonna leave this eye look as is. I just did this. I'm gonna do an Instagram tutorial. It's using the new Viseart uh, Neutral Mats Milieu palette that I just talked about and Swatch in a recent video if you wanna go check it out, but I'm kind of loving it and don't wanna put anything over it. So I'll, I'll just have to do a separate look tutorial using these, but I am so pumped to start using them. And as I clean up to go on to the next batch of products that I got, I am remembering how fast these dry down and how much they stay as I'm trying to remove them. With I've started using face halo, totally unrelated, but um, I got a couple of face halos that I've really been liking, not just to remove makeup when I'm making videos, but also like my facial makeup, which has been nice. But good grief, once those dry down, they are on. They are no match for a face halo. Okay, kind of getting there. Eh, doesn't really matter. We're going to swatch this next batch on the arms anyway. So here I have some highlighters and blushes. This, in case you're curious, is a dual-ended Adept Cosmetics palette. The other end actually actually has all the products that they sent me prior to the Christmas in July sale. This is the new stuff that they launched. And what compelled me to get all of these face powders is they launched a new shade called Cakewalk. This is the first face powder that I ever tried from Sydney Grace and it's incredible. So pigmented, so smooth and easy to blend and apply. So I don't know the word moderation and had to get more a lot more. So let's first start with what look like blushes. A lot of these highlighters have some pigment to them, of which they're looking kind of washed out. Now you can see some of the pigment here, um, but I'm going to go with the things that currently look like they are blush slash blush highlighter hybrids. This is a really pretty mauve matte shade. This is called Tangled, and when I saw this online, I thought it might be a good natural blush for my skin tone, something where when I'm wearing a bold eye or a bold lip and I want to play it really minimal on my cheeks, this would be a go-to shade, and I do not think I was wrong with that. Look at how pretty that is. But at the same time, look at how buildable that is. Like when I hold that up to my face, it looks like it's gonna be more subdued, but man, that is one buildable blush. Okay, next up, I am pretty ecstatic about this one, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need to use a light hand because it looks very bold in the pan. This is called Summer Love. It looks like it is a hot coral base with a shimmery, soft golden shift to it. That is exactly how it is coming off, swatched on me. Also gonna be like a very pretty eyeshadow. It 
kind of goes from coral looking in the pan to almost orangey when swatched. Maybe it just leans a little bit orange on me, but it's still so beautiful. And it's one of those finishes that I've been loving lately, starting with the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Face Powder Palette. Basically, they are really illuminating blushes, and I've just been loving that combination to get a beautiful, healthy flush that's also, you know, that lit from within glow. So that I definitely think is gonna give you that. In fact, the rest of these shades will as well. So I have a deeper mauve shade of blush here. This one is called Pure Love. This is almost, it's like it has a mauve base and then a soft purple iridescence to it. Like that, the shift that it has is a soft purple iridescence and it actually reminds me of some of the shades in the Champagne palette from uh, Beauty Bakery. So let's just take a little stroll, a little comparison here. Actually, this is very similar to the shade No Champagne, No Gain. It's a little bit more pink than the Beauty Bakery version. Sydney Grace's version is a little bit more pink, but pretty stinking similar side by side, I would have to say. And also when swatched, Beauty Bakery's is quite a bit more subdued, but very similar, like soft purple frosty finish. And I think that the Sydney Grace could definitely be blended out to look similar, but it might still have more of a strong red undertone. And again, this next powder from Sydney Grace, this is the shade Secret, also looks very similar to one from that Beauty Bakery palette. So Secret from Sydney Grace is a soft kind of cotton candy-ish kind of pink with a similar pink shift to it. This looks pretty similar. Here they are in the pan to Sip Sip Hooray from Beauty Bakery, uh, but swatched next to each other. The Beauty Bakery is a little bit cooler, but actually very similar. If they're, in fact, I would say they are much more similar than the other two I just compared. Is it an exact dupe? No, but if you don't want this whole palette from Beauty Bakery, I would say pick it, and you just like this one shade Sip Sip Hooray, I would say you could pick up that Sydney Grace blush and never know the difference. Now moving into the highlighter. So this, the lightest shade that I got is called Velvet Gold. And I'm pretty sure I just got it for the name because it sounded so luxurious and amazing. This is basically like a white gold with a yellow gold, a very soft yellow gold shift to it. This is a very heavy swatch. And I think it's just gonna be a soft, but still relatively bright white gold shift to the cheeks. Then this next shade, Cantata is a peachy, a very soft peachy pink base with a strong golden shift to it. The undertone of peach pink really mellows out once you blend it out and that gold shift really becomes more prominent once you actually blend it out across the skin. I will say, however, this is the softest press I've had from Sydney Grace. It came a teensy bit cracked, not enough to be a mess. I just lightly pressed it in there, but as I set it back into my freeform pan just now, a little teensy bit of it popped back out. So just be aware this is a really soft press. Next up is more of a bronzy highlighter. This is the shade Picture Perfect. And I mean, like I just said, this is kind of pure golden bronze with a strong metallic shift to it. This on me is gonna be less of a highlight. I actually think it's gonna be a really beautiful eyeshadow, even something to put, lay over the liquid shadows that I had, because it's very similar to those shades, even though, to be clear, they don't need it. You don't need to set them with any kind of powder. I'm just saying it, it very much matches the vibe of that, but is a little bit too deep for my skin tone as a highlighter, but would look beautiful on those with medium and deep skin tones. And then this last shade is kind of hard to describe. It actually reminds me more of an eyeshadow. It's called Allegro and it's an icy taupe shade, a kind of soft pink champagne undertones, but still has that taupey lean to it to where I wouldn't call it a pink, especially since I have other pinks that I've just swatched to compare it to. It it definitely has taupe vibes in there. So really pretty and another one that I think could easily double as an eyeshadow shade, a highlight shade, but those cool undertones might make it a little bit limiting to those with uh, warm undertones just because I can see them. I mean, it is so, so cool leaning, but still very pretty and definitely one that I think you're gonna have to use a light hand with. Otherwise, 
I think it could get very metallic very fast. Okay, so I am already wearing blush today, but I feel like I could do a little bit more just for the sake of playing with some of these shades. So I'm gonna first start off with something matte. This, well, the only matte I bought, which is Tangled, that beautiful blush. And I'm just gonna take the smallest amount I can. I'm not gonna lie though, my brush is picking up so much of this at one time. Take a tiny little amount and put that right at the tops of my cheekbones. And this is obviously not going to be true to color because I'm wearing it over some other shades, but I mean, a little bit goes a very long way with this. Oh, too much. Where's my foundation brush? Yeet. Okay, better. Beautiful. Now for the highlight, I am going to start off with that Allegro shade because I'm so curious to see how it actually looks on the face. I'm going to use Adelium 787, something that's a little bit less dense because like I said, this could get out of hand very fast if I used a more dense brush. And I'm just going to place that at the tops of my own. Oh, wow. Can you see this? very intense and I am not using a heavy hand, but blending out really easily and nicely to be less intense and metallic. And it doesn't look too cool um, on my skin because I am wearing a good amount of warm products like my blush and bronzer today. So I would say it doesn't, the, the cool undertone here doesn't clash too harshly with those, but definitely a beautiful frosty highlight. Now, I kind of don't even know where to go from here. Let's try the peachy pink shade, Cantata. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about how this is going to hold up to a brush, but we will see. And I'm just using this, you know how I like to do when I layer my highlights? This, I am just going in narrowly in that outer corner portion. And this is a little, because I'm taking it in such a narrow area, is a little bit harder to buff and blend out and it comes out super concentrated as well but so beautiful and kind of like I mentioned when I was swatching these as you blend it out it really looks more so like a gold shift those peachy pink pigment pigments aren't really showing through as I'm blending this out so you don't have to worry about if if you want to apply this as like a blush topper it's not going to add too much to the pigment of your blush it's more so going to give you a beautiful and intense golden sheen to your face so there is both of those applied and I actually really love how well those go together um, but I think we need to be done otherwise we might have too much of a good thing but I still I love the way it turned out the layering of the blushes and the highlighters let me know what you guys think and let me know what you picked up in the Sydney Grace sale tell us all down in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video was a fun one to watch please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video bye guys